Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade in the Field. My name is Andras. Hi, my name is Masha. Today we're going to do a comparison of different thermal monoculars and clip-ons. So Andras, where are we? So we're in a standard location where we always do this type of videos so that all of the videos of this type can be the same. And uh, we are a couple of kilometers from our headquarters um, on a meadow surrounded by a forest. Why have you chosen this location? So we chose this location today because we have sunny weather, the uh, grass is dry, and uh, in this type of conditions the thermal differences can be seen the best. Is image quality the only important factor? No, it's not. We have other things, so we have build quality, then we have the fact whether the battery is interchangeable or mm -hmm. not, we have warranty and we have many other things. Okay, be sure to check out our YouTube channel for individual reviews of these thermal uh, devices. What settings did we choose for today's video? So we have brightness and contrast at mid level, then we have uh, all color modes in white hot and the magnification set at the base level. Masha, what's the general setup? So we have seen made at 50 meters, 75 meters and 100 meters and we always use two persons and one small dog. Why are we using wild animals? Well, it's difficult to convince a deer to stand still at 50, 75 <laughs> or 100 meters. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're not using wild animals. <laughs> Andras, what to look for in these comparisons? There are three basic things. Image details, magnification and field of view. Okay, so Masha, which Burris thermal scopes do we have here today? So we have three monoculars, BTH-25, BTH-35 and BTH-50. So basically the whole handheld range they offer at the moment. Yeah, every device. So thank you guys for watching our videos. If you like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye. Take care.